Uganda Mountain Division and Operation Soldier, Major General De Kolum, has disclosed that the joint forces of UPDF and FADAC are pursuing the many EDF attackers in Mualika Valley. In response to the assault, UPDF swiftly launched a robust operation, deploying forces along River Luiria and Mualika Valley. Pursuing the retreating ADF rebels, UPDF managed to eliminate more than 10 insurgents, including Commander Lubanga Ken, operating under the command of an Arab militant known as Abu Akasi. The UPDF took it upon us because they thought they had gone behind our lines and we followed them now. Up to now, we still continue following them. I think a lot has been done. We have killed a number of them. We have identified this group where they came from and we have identified which commander was responsible for this. A number of them have been killed. We have gathered more than 10 guns out of that same team. We have killed more than 10 out of that same team. team. We have rescued almost eight kids and women. And uh, we also recovered one of the dead bodies of the girl who had been abducted from that same school. And the girl, we recovered the body because they, I think they killed her in the bushes uh, after she had probably failed to walk. These preemptive strikes were deemed necessary following the dead ADF attack on Rubiria Senior Secondary School. The recent attack on Rubiria Senior Secondary School highlights the ongoing terror activities perpetrated by ADF not only within Uganda but also in the Democratic Republic of Congo. They hacked a number of students, something very unfortunate to talk about. We think uh, it was very unfortunate and uh, these kids died innocently for no good reason. While some ADF rebels managed to evade capture, the joint forces of UPDF and FADA are actively pursuing them as they scatter across Malika Valley and Vilunga in North Kiev province. To safeguard against any potential infiltration, UPDF remains vigilant, conducting active defensive operations in eastern Congo and fortifying the border areas of Kasese, Bondebujo and into local district. So we think a lot has happened. We have achieved a lot. We have killed so many and we continue to do that. We follow them. Right here, I'm talking uh, from one of the bases of my first battalion, and uh, Captain Obina, who's the commander of this force. And he's here, he's here in the jungle. We had to walk down from River Semeliki up to here to come and meet him. He had, come and look at the soldiers. Look at how they move. See what their problems are. And uh, we think the UPDF has done a lot. We think the biggest collection of the ADF today is somewhere in Mualika Valley, which we are following day and night, and soon it should be some history to talk about. So far, so good. To safeguard against any potential infiltration, UPDF remains vigilant, conducting active defensive operations in eastern Congo and fortifying the border areas of Kasese, Bundibujo, and in Toroko district. Haruna Mtesasira, UBC News.